Yes, happy birthday to Tony. Have some cake. Yes. <laughs> what type of cake did you bring? Hummingbird. Who? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Ooh. That's his favorite, I Is it? That's a I've never even heard of that type of cake. Never heard of it. Thank Hummingbird. You. Really? Here we are, what, 40 years later? Yeah. Wow, that long. Pauline knows her recipes. Come on now. She knows her recipes. Happy birthday, Tony. We love you, bro. Happy birthday, Tony. Sixty strong. <laughs> we know <laughs>
Okay. Yeah. Okay. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Not ready, but that's all right. Where 
I ain't gonna go back there. But uh, <laughs> from the left to the right, but I wanna, I just wanna tell them happy birthday. I wanna thank all of y'all for uh, helping him change and being better than what he what he feels now. Uh, it's been some rough times. Some rough times. We've been in the military 27 years. Another brother been 27 years. We worried about him overseas and. In a wide, we're worried about him in Kansas City, we're worried about him in Germany, and look where he's at now. Amen. Oh, God is good. God is good. I want to thank him. But he's being my brother, and one of my brothers, out of all the five brothers that we do have, no girl. No girl. No girl. That's why we love our wives. Amen. Yes. We love mama, right? We can't have no girls. And all our nephews and our nieces, we love them too. Other than that, thank you. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? All, all, all they have to do is look at the pictures on the table, and that tells the story. Oh, amen. I agree. Look at those pictures. Look at the pictures. And you tell. I swear that you're a tourist. Y'all don't notice. If you're looking at the pictures on the tables, he likes wearing a submission. Submission. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm figuring that's what that is. So. Anyway, my name is Lon, for those who don't know me, and I'm a member of the Strong Life family Amen. that trains with Tony. Amen. And um, I'm actually going to call all of the Strong Life family and all the power lifters in the room to come up here for a minute with me because I'd like to present Tony with an award. So, we are truly blessed that he is in the power lifting community. He doesn't know how many lives he's touched and how many people he has inspired and motivated with his amazing lifting. The first time I met Tony was in 2014 at a powerlifting meet at the Old Strong Life Gym. And he walked in there, he didn't warm up, he went right to the squat rack and squatted like 600 and something pounds. With no warm up, nothing, he just did a little lift, that's what he called it, a little lift. And I thought, man, that guy is strong. I want to be just like him. And little did I know that not only was I going to be lucky that he was in my life, but without him, I wouldn't be walking today. He really was there for me. So I'm so happy that you are on this planet and we are celebrating 60 years of blessed life with you. And Paula? We'd like to present you with this award. Tony, come up here so we can present this to you. So this award says, Tony Conyers, as a result of your ministry, men will give glory to God for your generosity to them and to all believers will prove that you are obedient to the good news of Christ. 2 Corinthians 9, 13 through 14. Celebrating 60 years with gratitude, your strong life family. So this is for you. Yeah. So from all of us to you, thank you for everything you do. Yes. Thank you. Amen. 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 Awesome. Hello, everybody. My name is Ty. Um, those of you on the way. <laughs> Tony's, Tony's birthday. I didn't know I was going to be the father of God, but I seen his voice. So I was going to see an R&B song. He was like, ladies and gentlemen. Like, <laughs> 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 I had to get you back this morning. <laughs> I started in powerlifting in uh, early 2015. Ironically enough, 
anyone you meet in the sport of powerlifting, almost anywhere, but especially in this part of the country, this part of the world, knows this man and has been mentored by a coach or taught or inspired by in some way by this man. And I remember my first, my first day, literally, in powerlifting. Um, I went to the gym, the first team I was on, and the first name I heard was Tony Connors. That's, it, it, it actually was called oh, Holy Roller, Holy Roller. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, so who, the, who's Tony Connors? I, I didn't know who he was. And um, so I was thinking, that's the pastor, you know, he, that's the preacher, that's the pastor, they prayed his meets and all that. And I'm like, really? My tennis went up. I'm like, really? All right. So that was like October or something, 2015. And I had never even been to a powerlifting competition. I just know that this was something that I wanted to do. And I had spent two years prior trying to teach myself how to be a powerlifter by watching people online and so forth and so on and hurting myself over and over. And I finally found a team. I was so excited to be there. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go to this powerlifting competition that was at the Old Strong Life Gym. Never even been to a competition before. And I walk in and my mind is blown. And I'm just looking around like, wow, this is what it's like. And that was, I think, November 2015. I actually saw, I think I saw Tiffany lift there that day. I believe Tiffany lifted that day. But I saw Tony lift that day. And I think they called his name. It was like a 600 pounds or something like that. And I'm like, oh, that's him. And then he walked off from off the way, way from the rack. I'm like, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just amazed. I was like, wow. So I just, I just, it just blew my mind. I'm like, this man just got 600 pounds? So I just, I just, you know, I just sat there and I just, I was nervous. I never get nervous, but I was actually nervous. And I walked up to him and I introduced myself and I can't remember what else I said, but I just, you know, told him I've heard a lot about him, and, you know. And he was very humble. He's very, you know, very nice, very humble. It was easy to talk to him. And the next month I did my first competition. Fast forward an entire year later to Battle of the Bay. And in 2017, he was there. And I competed, I just got into a car accident like a month before. And I competed that day, and he was there, and uh, I saw him, and I knew that I wanted to talk to him, I knew I had to talk to him. And I was on a spiritual journey at the, on, at the same time, kind of in another lane of my life, you know, kind of leading me to Christ, leading me, leading me towards the Word of God, leading me, you know, in the right direction. And I, you know, I pulled him aside and asked him, you know, is, does he mind if I can talk, if I talk to him? And he said, sure. We sat there and talked for about three hours. I mean, just... Never even had more than a hello, it was nice to meet you, it was nice to meet you. We talked for three hours like we knew each other. And by the end of the conversation, you know, I asked him, I said, do you mind, can I please come to your gym? He said, I thought you, I was about to invite you. I thought you was never going to ask. <laughs> so it took a couple, like two months, and I, I went. And it was such a family atmosphere. It was just, I mean, it's actual family. Like, you know, his sons and daughters are, are, are training together, you know. And that was what I was looking for, a family, you know, a, a team. That, that, that cheer for you, that push you, you know, to do everything, to help you. And ever since then, I've realized that, and that was December, that was early 2017, I realized that I didn't meet this man for power. That's not why I met him. That's not why I met your family. That's not why I met everyone else here in this room, you know. And as I stand here today, I realize I've learned so much from you. Just watching you have conversations with people, watching people react to you, watching you your grace and your patience. And there's, you know, I'm still learning with powerlifting and I get injured sometimes and I get frustrated. And there's there's no amount of pain, no amount of injury that I can't get through. It, it, all, all I have to do is call them, just have a conversation with them. And somehow find courage to just go, all right, I, I gotta go, all right. You'll have a story for me, like, let me tell you about the story. When I was doing this meeting, I had this big knot in my back, but I still squatted 700 pounds. You know what, if you're doing it, I gotta give them. <laughs> but, it's just, it's just the, the peace that, that you give off and, and hearing the stories and, and hearing your experience. And I'm not even just talking about power, just, just, just as a human being. And you've impacted me so much. And I just want to say thank you. I just want to say I love you. I want to say thank you so much for letting me know your family and helping me in this powerlifting journey. And happy birthday. Yes. Everything Ty was saying, um, I used to power lift and 
I remember when Tony came to Superior Gym, and we had a, it was four of us, and we called ourselves the uh, Posse. <clears throat> But we had all the way in the back of the room one morning, but everybody in there was taped up and bandages up. And Tony was passing out flyers, and he told us to come over to his new gym. So we came over there, and I met Bill. Bill was showing me how to do uh, pulls right, and I was the weakest link. I was the weakest link. I was in the 255 class, but everybody was strong to me. They picked that man. Tony used to, I've been knowing Tony ever since he had hair. <laughs> 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 as small as small as the guy that he did, it, this none of this surprised me because I watched Tony at 113 pounds bench over 300 pounds. I've been seeing this ever since. They were wrestling. They, they own plant. They own wrestling. I went to wrestle because they wrestled, but. We get, I went to wrestling training one day and Tony threw me by the door and I retired. <laughs> <laughs> I was done with wrestling, so I started playing football, which I was supposed to do anyway. And I remember Tony was going to play football. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out on the field and he looked at like a little helmet right there. <laughs> 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 because our whole football team is all big guys. Our, our quarterback was about 215 pounds. And he wasn't used to throwing down like that. <laughs> <laughs> he would go out there and pass it in there. And they, they, they just couldn't get the ball to him. <laughs> He'll come through the hole as a running back and they hand him the ball and it's only go under. <laughs> He's a, 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 a life changing guy. And we, we get up here and me and him together, we we haven't been good our whole life. Everything Tony did, I had some of the people back here laughing. Tony had one of the baddest yellow cabs in Tampa, Florida that they had. <laughs> Mags on it, music in it, dice hanging in the mirror. So when I saw Tony doing this, I wouldn't start driving cabs because I wanted to do what he was doing. Everything Tony did, I wanted to do. And some of the things that we wasn't supposed to do, he did, I did too. But when Tony found Christ, Come on. let Christ into his life, I hadn't did it yet. Because everybody had to pray for me because I was the crazy one. They was taking protein, and my protein was Budweiser back then. <laughs> but Tony talked me out of there, he talked me down, he calmed me down. And the next time we saw each other about 10 years later, and I said, Tony, you're not going to believe me. The prayers were answered. I'm pastoring now. And then him and his wife came under our ministry, and they helped. We were getting some tight spots, and he was always there for me. True believer. Ah, come on, somebody. <laughs> but yeah, and they, they was always there for us. I watched the kids running around and in the gym, and now I'm looking at them with hell on their face, and they dad old now. And I'm like, wow. Where's Billy? We were at church this morning, and I wasn't good at math, so I was using my finger to have a counter. And I said, he's 60. I said, Tony, you are old. <laughs> because we went through so much yeah. together. The, the yeah. original team, the, the, the original five guys. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. We had a brotherhood, and we had a friend named Kenneth Warren, we used to call him Pinto. And this one I got out of power, he died of brain cancer. And the whole power team came up because me and him came from the same neighborhood, we did everything together, we got strong together, that was one of the posse members. And when the whole power lifting team came, it made me feel so good. We had an event where we went up there to Lake City and we went against the prison guard. Mm -hmm. And we, gave, we went a, won a big trophy like this. And when we got back to Tampa, Toe was just coming out of surgery. And I took the trophy and I ran all the way to his room. And uh, okay. Okay. And the rest of the team came behind me. And those were the kind of guys who I lift weights with. They're the kind of guys who have been in my life. Sometimes I'll get out of control. And I, I, I got a real bad temper. I work on it. And Tony was always there for me. And he's been like a brother to me. When I got the plant, it was 77. He had been there two years before me. 
And how many know that God will have a plan laid out before you, before you get there? Yeah. And he has somebody smaller than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you now, he's I didn't just meet him. Bill, Chris, yeah, Big come Bo, on, come on, James, James, the face big hurt. Um, the love that they showed me, I knew I was the weakest link. And when I got there, I couldn't bench over 200 pounds. When I left, the first night I benched four or five, they had to catch me. <laughs> Boy, James fought over me for squats. They put 275 on my back and I ran. A month later, I was squatting over six. I need that picture too, because I don't want to put that on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it's, just been, it's been so good. And when I told him about the ministry that I'm under now, yes. and I was. <laughs> Come on. This other old guy wanted to be a <laughs> <laughs> You know it's only kind of lifted because all trademarks are just like his. We step out the same, we do everything the same. And when I took this other older guy to meet this other older guy, I said I wanted him to get the best trainer it could be. And we worked on it. I remember, oh my goodness, I couldn't hardly bend over tie shoe. <laughs>
but getting back to the, you know, the, the, the powerlifting side of it, I got so many stories and I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm you got, you okay. take, you take your but, time, y'all. <laughs> uh, and this is recent. It was in our previous, uh, strong life. We had, cause we had five guys in the nineties and we always said, we're going to do this again. And we did it again. But anyway, we're at this meet and he's 148 pounds and he cuts the weight to 148 pounds. And when he, at his best, 148 pounds in 1996, I think he benched 405. Mm -hmm. In this meet, he did 424. Four, yeah. And he squatted without equipment, like he used to wear this stuff. Long story short, he's getting better. This is two years ago. He's getting better at 58 years old. And, and he's, he's we're, we're, waiting, you know, we're waiting for a second attempt deadlift or something. And it was about like this. He's sitting down, I'm standing up, waiting for his turn. I can see him out of my peripheral. And I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth, and he's laughing, just like he's laughing right now. And I turned to him, and he said, he goes, I know, it don't make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his power of your career. It cannot be described other than God just touched this man and gave him a gift, and now he's using that gift to talk. I mean, and Ty talked about the city. I mean, it's all over the world. It's all over the world. We were with an Egypt guy in, in uh, Orlando. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I just, um, someone said, Vaughn said, I'm so glad that the, this man is on this planet and he's been in my life from the time I was eight years old and he's always gonna be in my life. This is my Amen. brother Amen. and that's not a, that's, that's, that's my fact. Everybody, I've only been here for 16 years. Everybody got these really like heart touching, heartwarming stories. I haven't been here that long, so I can only tell you what I know. And I can only tell you what I've seen today sitting at these tables. Guys, these kids are foul, man. You should have been playing with the wrong people. You should have been playing with the people like eating them and looking at these pictures. <laughs> Walking around in booty shorts. <laughs> 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 Mr. Go, Mr. Go just said uh, your powerlifting career is very unpredictable and it's uh, something that you can't describe. And another thing that you can't describe is your fashion sense oh, back in the day. Oh, <laughs> and also, I'm just saying, hey, nobody wanted to get on you. I'm your youngest son. You shouldn't have me. I'm just saying, if I'm going to be here, I'm the funniest one. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. Nah, but for real though, you notice everyone in here, they love my dad. Um, for obvious reasons, dude can't stop talking. And uh, if you're church, you feel welcome because this is a old dude who already has a bunch of friends that still, for some reason, can have a two-hour conversation with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm remember some days, um, I take the mic? I used to, <laughs> he would come back home from training. Uh, he would be with some of his friends. This was probably like at one of the older gyms. You know, he's with like Mr. JC, Mr. Bill, all them. And they, they have to finish a conversation kind of early because you know I'm a kid and I'm starving. <laughs> and I'm not food, right? You gotta take care of your kids sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we, stop, we stop, we get something to eat, and we, we get like pizza or something. Burger. And um, I had to have to start eating out of the car, or I had to grab the keys off of him and walk in the house early because he would sit in the car for like an extra 45 minutes trying to finish up a conversation that he already had for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I'm, like, now, especially, I'm glad that I'm, I'm I'm 16, so I can I can use the I can use moving the car as an excuse to get out of the gym while he's still talking. <laughs> so I mean, uh, <laughs> if nothing else, if nothing else, I've learned patience, humility. I'm humble. <laughs> I've, learned, I've learned all of these things. I've learned how to. You know, be be big for my size. I'm like a little Adam Ant. I'm Adam Ant Junior. Adam Ant Senior. That's why they called you Ant. Yeah, Ant Short or Anthony. They all called him Ant. Um, I know how to, you know, talk soft and carry a big stick or whatever. But uh, 
I'm glad I have him as my father. I learned a lot just by watching him. Um, I learned when people aren't interested in the conversation anymore and just to drop it. so much from you know spending the time that I have in my house my family and all these people that he's brought into the family you know, this, this room is a melting pot man there are people from all walks of life everywhere you got church folk gym folk you got family, <laughs> you, got family in here. you got more church and gym folk than weird like no I'm just but it's good though because that means that you reach out to people people like you people want to spend time with you the fact that mom didn't let anyone know until like just this church service. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. Not like, um, apparently all the kids, they had some sort of like, uh, they had some secret thing where they weren't going to say like happy birthday to dad. So he was like, oh man, my kids weren't thinking about me. I just didn't say it. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm sorry, but hey. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because every single time I mention his birthday, I also mention the fact that he's supposed to have a six pack on his 60th birthday. Oh, so. I got the picture. I got the picture. I got the picture. When did you take it? Uh, yesterday. That's not today, though. Oh. Today, no, today's the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been falsified. No, 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 no. I want to see it too, actually. Let me get the picture. Nah, uh, thank all of you for showing up. Um, I know you guys are going to continue to be around him because he doesn't do anything bad that'll drive you away. Stop right. talking. Wait, 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 I don't even know. Let me see the picture. Hold on. <laughs> this old man got no six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right gym. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right gym. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's get 65 or whatever. No, because I remember at 50, um, 10 years ago, he had me, his little tiny son, posing up next to him uh, for his 50th birthday. He wanted to show everyone he had abs. I don't know why. I don't know why he cared, but he wanted to show everyone and their mom that he had abs when he was 50. So, I mean, I guess it's just to prove that even though you're old, you can still do the same thing. Wait, I don't even pass the He stole all my jokes. I was about to get up here and, like, rag on you to be old. Seriously, my dad is 60 and I'm 16. <laughs> Dude, you know what's sad? The pressure I'm going to have to show to my kids to show them who their grandfather was, and these bitches are sitting at the table right now. They're going to be like, they're going to be like, you like to wear booty shorts. I don't ever want to hear me talk about my ripped jeans, my ripped jeans, and my hoodie during the summer, because this man was walking around in spaghetti strap tank top, booty shorts. Tight leather vest. And the condom strapped around his neck like he cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place. Yeah, you need to get the stack. Uh, <laughs> I got a whole stack. His dad apparently ain't seen him. <laughs> 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 Y'all can sit here and look through them, but don't try to look through them while you're eating. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you, don't you. Hey, you're gonna get on you. Hey, next Sunday, next Sunday, hey, we talk about you, man. <laughs> don't you, he's a great man because he likes talking to his congregation as he's preaching. And uh, you don't see a lot of that happening. But he's probably gonna be cracking some jokes about how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> I would. But uh, yeah, thank all of you for being here. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoy whatever food we're gonna have. Um, I'm not even trying to be funny. <laughs> we know, believe me, we know. <laughs> I'm not teasing. I'm oh, sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm getting them back because I'm the shortest. I'm 16, my niece is 10, and she's almost as tall as me. Oh. <laughs> that, that just goes to show that sometimes you don't want to get all the jeans from your father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with, because I'm, I'm going to have that nice beard, I'm going to have that goatee, that soul patch. That you know, that that like, oh, I don't want to shave it, but I don't want to be short. <laughs> but, um, as long as I got somebody here with me that's also short. But yeah, thank you for being you. Thank all your friends, all the family, everybody in this room. Uh, all you guys mean a lot to him. He obviously means a lot to you guys. Uh, so just enjoy this day and enjoy the news you got left, man. <laughs> Serving the food, and then after that, anybody else got anything they want to say? Open mic night. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Mercy. Now, yeah, to follow that, wow. Amen. My name is JC. I've known I've known Tony for for over ten years now. Wow. I, I met him. I met him after. I met him like this, actually. So I don't know his back days. Oh, okay. So I met him good. <laughs> Since I met him, he's been a tremendous influence in my life. Um, like I said, I managed the gym for, for a couple of years, and that's where we met the crew and everybody, all the powerlifters, amazing people. Um, here's my powerlifting uh, uh, story, which is not even a powerlifting story, but it's a way that this man affects me. We're at the gym one day, two guys are, are checking through their pictures, there's a girl on there, and they're making fun of her, you know, they're not making fun of her, they're saying how hot she is or whatever. Tony looks over and they, they bring the picture to him. And Tony, without a doubt, looks at it, he's like, dude, I'm a married man, I don't even play with that. Right. So just looking at that as a man, yeah, right. it's not going on in my, in my life, in my family. So having an influence like that in my life is huge. So Amen. thank you, Tony. Happy birthday, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna get with the crew in the back and see how it's gonna be. Y'all can see Watch out! All right, let's play. I'm just for a couple years now, and I'm standing on it. I'm just going to I don't know that I can serve that kind of, uh, I don't know the word for it, that kind of, that trajectory. But no, listen, listen, God takes the lead. Here we go. Beautiful, bro. Here we go. One. Back it in. Back it in. One. Two.
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I think I am going to talk, especially I think Ty motivated me. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, young, That young man motivated me. I don't know where he's at, but we're going to have a meeting with him. Great, motivated me. Uh, and the whole while I listened to Ty talk, I thought about it. He really don't know his father. <laughs> he, he knows his 16, the last 16 years, but he don't know his father that we know. Amen. We know. We know. We know. Okay? Meaning, if you were 16, Come on and he was 16. Oh. oh, Lord. When I was 16, none of those words came out of my mouth. Tony. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Tony did not spare the rock. <laughs> uh, and I heard you talk about being short and all this other stuff. Okay? Even if you're short, it's what you make out of life. Yes. Tony made a lot out of being short. Amen. Yes. Hey, with this guy here in high school, he made sure it looked good. In high school, <laughs> nobody ever messed with me. Come on. I mean, I was skinny as rock. I was 110 pounds, 105 pounds in high school. They look at me and say, "Hey, that's Tony's brother." <laughs> I didn't have to worry, okay, because of what this guy made of himself. Amen. Even being short. I watched this guy here take down the biggest football player in high school, okay? Like that, boom. Pressed the crap out of me, and I lived with it. Okay? <laughs> Nobody messed with me. Um, but then again, he looked after his brothers. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't afraid of putting us in our spot, in our places, but he did a lot, okay? But other than that, he looked after his brother, I respected him as a brother, as a person, and what he can do. And just watching other people respect him. Um, so it's not the size, it's what's in here. Yes. He has made a legend of himself. Okay, the stories, the pictures. Oh man, when we say they got so many stories, there are so many stories of what this guy have accomplished. Okay, as far as being a um, state wrestling championship. Okay, watching him break his foot and still play football with a cast on, mm. run out of the cast. Okay, <laughs> Dude, that's an amazing thing. All right, they talk about you know him having the nicest taxi cab. He had the nicest, he had the, he had the nicest bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> if you were 16, oh, you had a different outlook on your father. Okay? Very different. Like I said, it wasn't the size. He didn't let size bother him. So I don't want you to let size bother you. You can accomplish a lot. Anybody. And that's what I wanted to get out of my chest because when I saw you, I said, well, he don't know his brother. <laughs> and if you want to know some more about him, just ask us anything. We'll tell you some things about Tony. Oh. <laughs> and, and, um, so good and bad. Don't piss him off now. I've seen, I've seen him pull a stop sign out of the ground. Okay. And pissed off. He just went to pull a stop sign out of the ground. Of course, I think mom made him put it back in the ground. Okay. And he's all too That's just a touch of it. But I mean, great man. I've always looked up to him. And yes, he's somebody you can definitely talk to because he likes to talk, but hey, that's no problem. We all, you know. Conversation never gets bored. I don't know. Baby brother. The baby. Baby brother. I didn't want to get out. You hear too many stars. I'm the youngest. So next month I'll be 52. 
and I'm still calling the baby brother. <laughs> but in this family, uh, you have to be very comfortable because you have such great men around. My oldest brother being number one brother, my number two brother, my number three brother. You need some water? Oh, okay. <clears throat> we, uh, we have a great family. We, uh, we come from great people. What you see from my mom, my grandmother, and my, my granny uh, is, is many, many prayers. It's just not, we don't stand here before you by mistake. We got four black men, grew up in Tampa. We, we're not on drugs, we don't drink, and we're not in prison. Yes. There, there is no mistake in that. You know, uh, my, 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 you talk about greatness in my brother. Come on. No. Take a oh, bow. Uh, <laughs> no, my, my brother may be in a pool, stop sign. <laughs> But, but my mama would hit you side the head when it stops. <laughs> <laughs> and God knows that's the truth. <laughs> she, uh, she fought. She fought every single day so that my brother could be the man that you guys know him to be. Amen. Amen. That's, that's just the way it is. You know, one thing my mother never got tired of, I know it's my brother's birthday. But it should be my mother's birthday. Amen. Amen. My mother never stopped parenting. Yeah. Right. From the time we was 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, she was always our mother. Amen. She's always been our parent. Amen. She's always been our supporter. My brother would tell you, she oh, yeah. supports him. She yes. supports any one of us. So we, we thank you as a family. Yes. But, but remember, the greatness of this family and, and sitting at the head of the table. Right. If it wasn't Amen. for her, my brother wouldn't be 60 years old. Amen. And he wouldn't be the man that you guys know him to be. Amen. I'm retired from the military. And I went to work overseas. And I lived overseas. And, and I, this is the God's honest truth. I've been to many countries, and they don't know who I am, but they know who this cat is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it amazes me. They say, you're from Tampa. And when we're talking, I'm saying, yeah, I'm from Tampa. And they're like, I don't know you. I said, well, maybe my older brother, you know. And they're like, what's his name? I said, Tony Kanye. One guy's like, Tony? And he almost had a, he almost passed out. <laughs> but, but other guys know him as Little Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Little Hercules. And, and they can't believe that that's my brother. It's, it's, you, we're a very humble family. What you guys don't see is this family has many skills. My brother is, has skills and we turn to each other. Yeah. My wife said, you guys are an anomaly. And I asked her, what do you mean by that? She said, I've never seen you guys fight. Yeah. And I had to explain something to my wife. The reason we don't fight is we support each other. Okay. We all have our own. Yeah. And there's no animosity. My brother is who he is. Yeah. My brother is a world class athlete. We have no we have no problem saying that. But as great as he is, each one of my brothers, yeah. I'm the youngest. Yeah. I've seen greatness in each oh, yeah. one of my brothers. Amen. So anything, whether it's 59, 58, I'm always gonna be there because that's how we do. Amen. We want to be an example. That's how you see our our kids and our nieces and our nephew. We put all of our efforts back into our family yes. because that's how my mother raised us. Amen. So my brother giving back to everybody is just all the examples that we've seen for our whole life. Amen. We don't know how to do anything other than that. Amen. All right. But brother, yes. you know, God bless you, man. <laughs> you, you, you come a long you, way, brother. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> we, we, I can tell you, I... I am honored to do your younger brother. Amen. I'm honored that you know you're back in your rightful place in my family. Amen. Amen. And you know what I mean by that. I know. I know. I right. Amen. Anybody else? <laughs>
<laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, until we moved, we still had set of weight. Wow. That set of weight, piece of it anyway. Mm-hmm. But now so, he done got so big and, <laughs> and everything else. I don't know what happened to it. So the only thing I can tell you that I do have is all the pictures and stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we can start wrestling in school. I think I went to one or two wrestling matches. <laughs> And they came and showed me a picture of a match that I've been to, and they were, I thought they were hurting my child. <laughs> so I was like in the stand. When they took the picture, I was out there where they were <laughs> to protect him. So when I found out that I couldn't be there, and how I got so excited, I stayed away. Yeah. I said, baby, see, I'll get him come and pull you off that mat. <laughs> <laughs> Then that's when he started lifting weights, and I didn't go. I, he wrestled, I didn't go. Now I can go to the gym. I will not go over and see him lift. If I'm there, if it's time to serve food, I'd be back there. I don't ever go over there. I can't stand all that. But they enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. I just enjoy them talking about it later, okay? <laughs> Big D. What up, Dad? I'm kind of guilty. I was on the cross town today. I was in the truck. I'm like, man, you call me daddy today. <laughs> but I knew I wasn't going to call you. Oh, I knew I was going to oh, see you later. Oh. <laughs> I knew I knew it was your birthday. I knew when I did. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I just want to say happy birthday. And I'm glad you're my father. I can't go nowhere. Without somebody saying, Tony! <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go, no matter if it's St. Pete, anywhere, they say, Man, you look just like this guy. I wait, I wait. I'm like, What's his name? Anthony Kanye. And they always tell me about your wrestling. Everybody want to be like Anthony Kanye. But I just want to say, I love you, and I'm happy that you're my father. Anybody else? 
patio. I just want to press up. My name is Kelvin. I hope y'all heard that remark. Because I know him from way back. Yeah. Like they said, I'm I'm the honorary brother. She helped raise me as well as raise the rest of these guys. I spent many nights in their house, spent many nights in their food. Him spent a lot of days in my house eating food too. <laughs> but Amp, which is we call him, has always been a leader for us. When we were young, anytime we wanted to go out to anywhere, first of all, he was our driver. If we wanted to go out, when we asked mom, can we go, who's taking y'all? As long as he's going to take us, we're good to go. We've got to go out and do a lot of things. One night, for sure mom doesn't know about this. <laughs> we, we, we thought we were going to jail. <laughs> there, in this family, there's a certain card that's been since we were kids. It's the bug. It's the red bug. Of course, our driver was driving. And as you can tell, all of us are kind of tall, except <laughs> the driver. <laughs> we were coming home late one night, and I mean, we had been out having a good time. Most, most of us were kind of laying back, relaxing, while Tony was driving. Blue lights come on in the back of the car. A cop comes up to the window and says, are any of y'all old enough to drive? <laughs> first of all, he didn't see anybody behind the wheel. But my point is, he has been a leader for us for a long time. And like I said, mom raised us, but we followed him. And we think we did a pretty good job growing up following our leader. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm a newer friend of Tony and Deborah. Um, I've met Tony through Tyrone and his power lifting meets, and um, I just wanted to take a moment and say I've got mad respect for the way you love God with your lifestyle especially in the gym and at the meets. And it's refreshing to see somebody be the church outside of the church and bring it in that type of an environment because it is a mission field. And I've watched people encounter the love of God as you listen. I've watched them encounter the love of God with your excellence as you put on these meets and as you've served your team and how you've invested in them. And that's highly unusual. And so I've got mad respect for a man who walks out lifestyle Christianity and who would invite me to his mother's house for Thanksgiving last year. So thank you. Um, but yeah, it's a pleasure just watching you do life and how you love on your team. And um, I'm just happy I could be your friend. So happy birthday. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Hello. I'm the youngest daughter of the bunch. Um, I just want to say thank you, Daddy. You've been a constant in my life for 35 years. Not only is he my father, but he's one of my best friends. Um, I can talk to him about anything. Um, so I really appreciate you being there and loving me unconditionally. I mean, I know that's a prerequisite for having children. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know something I'm not too proud of, I was able to go to him, and he was able to give me advice, not only from just the world, but also how we should be in Christ. So I really appreciate that. Um, I've been able to overcome a lot um, personally um, with having him as my constant. And I feel so blessed because when I talk to other people, I'm like, there's just no other dad like mine. Um, in, my, in my personal opinion, I really feel like you are the cream of crop when it comes to being a father, um, at least to me. And I thank you for your selflessness, um, always putting everyone around you first. Um, even when you're on vacation, it's car needs fixing, 
not now I'm married now, but before it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the door you lash, he knew, you know, don't lash on your door. It was whatever he could do, he was always there. And it, he never missed a beat. And I was worried about making that transition from uh, a daddy's girl to a wife. And to this day, he still gives me godly wisdom and advice. And the fact that I can go to my father and get that means the world to me. And I just thank you for that. I love you. And I, I, I pray that you're here for 60 more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and say happy birthday. So if you can make it towards the back so we can uh, sing happy birthday. What I would say with all of this is that there's a lot of things that are the GOAT. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 